Hello students, this is Katie Winkler, your English teacher, and I just want to introduce myself and say hello and say how happy I am uh, that you are in my class. I just wanted to make a short screencast to let you see some of the elements of the course before we get started so that um, if you have any questions you can ask me and so that you can hit the ground running because this is an accelerated English course, which means we have to get 16 weeks of material in eight weeks. The state requires you, when you take an accelerated course, to get the same material that students who take a 16-week course get. That means that you have to get the work done in half the time. Um, so anyway, I thought that I would put this video together to help you get started more easily. So here we go. Go to the home page, click on students, come down to my courses, and then come up here to, to your courses and it'll look something like this, all your courses will be laid out here and you want to click on English 111 401W so click on that and the home page the course home page looks something like this with the picture of Grandfather Mountain this is an important place to go First, to get the course announcement, or any time to get the course announcements. Uh, if you have any questions or you want to discuss something with your fellow students or ask a question of me or your fellow students, you can do that here. We have a section on how the course works, the very important course syllabus um, that will change. I haven't done that yet. This is still summertime, as you can tell. I'm in my home, and um, I'm going to be putting up the new course syllabus. So it'll be 2021 uh, fall. Uh, this course schedule will be there. Let me click on that. You'll see a tentative schedule of each module, eight modules, eight weeks. The introductory material will be done in just a few days. You won't get a whole week to do the introductory material. Uh, over here, the major writing assignments, um, I try to keep them to a minimum without hurting the content of the course. So the first two modules are writing sentences and paragraphs. Then we write the essays, two essays. Uh, a comparison and contrast and a causal analysis. Then we write a summary. Uh, you write an annotated bibliography for your research paper. And then we write the rough and final drafts of the research paper and a final reflection essay. Um, and the due dates come quickly and it goes quickly. You're writing a major writing assignment each week. That's just the way it has to be because it's accelerated English class. So think carefully if you want to be in this class while you still have time to change. People, this course is designed for people who want to get quickly through their English courses um, and who are already fairly strong students. If you have trouble with English, if it's not your favorite subject, this is not the course you want to be in. So you might want to talk to your advisor about changing to a 16-week course if you think that you can't match the pace, especially if you have a lot, have other 16-week courses. If you try to take this eight-week course along with 16-week courses, that could be difficult. But if you think that you can do it, and are prepared to keep up with the work, 
then you'll you'll be able to take your English 112 in the second eight weeks and be finished with your required English courses in just one semester. So that's the beauty of it, but it is a lot of work. Now, I teach the 112, the eight-week 112 as well. So, um, uh, so you would have me for both 111 and 112, and that's another advantage because you'll already know kind of how I work, and I'll be talking about things that we're going to be doing in English 112. You'll be better prepared for how I grade um, and what I expect from your writing. So there are a lot of advantages to taking it, but the, the disadvantage is the pace. It's a very fast pace, and there's just no way around that. I will say, having developed both of these courses, that this course is, is more intensive than the English 112. However, the English 112 is still an eight-week accelerated course. But the pace drops a shade. And it's a little bit uh, more manageable. But again, if you don't think that you can manage that, then you might want to consider um, looking for a 16-week class that's open. Uh, I will do everything I can to help you. That There's no question about that. Um, and, and if you decide that you want to stay in and you run into trouble, then I will help you uh, as much as I can. So that is something uh, to, uh, to keep in mind and to contemplate. Um, the information for your ebook is there. There'll be a different key code here. I haven't gotten that yet because I'm technically not supposed to be working yet, but I'm doing this just to help my students when we get started uh, to get started. Um, there's a video about responding to classroom violence from our police department. There's a link here to uh, my favorite, one of my favorite grammar websites that has a lot of uh, exercises you can do if you have issues with grammar, because we don't have a whole lot of time to talk about grammar in here. Um, your schedule is on the left, and you definitely, you need to do these assignments under getting started first. Very important that you do this syllabus confirmation quiz. Just a few questions, and it's very easy to do, but it is a grade, and it is required. The solo confirmation quiz, if you've had other online classes, or you took the online, uh, or you took ACA already, and you had the online orientation, then you already have a certificate. If you have not done the online orientation, that's what the solo is, then you're going to uh, want to do that because you have to upload your um, your certificate in order to get credit for this. The quiz is just a one question quiz where you have to upload your um, your certificate. There's a link to the online orientation in that quiz if you have not um, done it. Uh, it takes uh, it takes a while to do the, the uh, online orientation. Uh, and all of these assignments are due on Monday the 23rd, so there's not much um, not much time. So you don't want to wait if you have not done it. You want to do this right away. Uh, because it's going to take you a little while to do these things. Uh, I'm not going to go through all the modules. You can do that on your own. Then there's your first lesson, uh, lessons that you do. You can just simply move through them. You'll see me, and there'll be this video that I'm doing now replacing that video. Um, in the uh, less the first lesson, and then you just click and follow the directions. It's just very easy to go through. You will not get credit if you just click through. Uh, it won't let you um, go if you have the wrong answer. Um, it will um, force you to go back. So, um, so anyway. The best thing to do is to listen to the video so that you can answer 
so that the questions can be easily answered. Uh, oh, there's a discussion forum too uh, that you will need to do. Um, and you're just going to write a brief um, paragraph to introduce yourself, answering these questions. And this is kind of giving me an idea of what your writing is like. And then, uh, so try to do, you know, don't worry about it. I'm not great in grammar and mechanics or anything. Uh, but give me a true idea of your writing. Don't just blow it off. Um, and you click on here to add a new discussion. And you do want to respond to your fellow students. So take a look at my sample here. And that's basically, I just want a brief introduction. Uh, it is a grade, but I'm mainly grading that you did it um, and get an idea of your writing skills. Let me know if you have any questions, kdw.blueridge.edu, uh, or, or, if, you, or, or if you're listening to this and you're already um, in the course, then you can message me in the course. And um, I'll be talking about some of those things again in the next video. So see you later.